Welcome back for another Litecoin price prediction analysis and in this video I will be sharing my next price targets and also give you reasons as to why Litecoin can see a break above the $97.63 mark in the next coming hours or maybe days ahead of the Litecoin halving event and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to start the video by first focusing on the fundamental news where you can see that litecoin at the time of this recording has 15 days 17 hours and 58 minutes to the litecoin having event and as a result of the having event i'm expecting a lot of volatility in the market and jumping back to the chart to give you my technical analysis here on the litecoin chart at the time of this recording we are holding below the 20 day ma here on the four hour chart which is now acting as resistance for us to continue gearing up we have also lost a significant area of support at around the 91.35 dollar mark which is now acting as resistance for us to continue gearing up and the moment we are able to see a recovery to the upper side, get above that key area of resistance, maybe get a successful retest, there are high chances that Litecoin is going to continue gearing up to the next key area of resistance at around the $97.63 mark. Litecoin has also continued to obey the ADO12 structures and you can see that after seeing our lows on the 14th of June, at around the $70.86 mark, we started gearing up impulsively, obeying the ADO12 structures, where we first picked in the formation of this wave 1, so a breakdown move in the formation of that wave 2, then a wave 3, a wave 4, and then the wave 5 giving us a high at around the $115.45 mark. And after seeing that 5 wave structure to the upside, we completed the formation of these larger ADO12 count 1. And after seeing the formation of a larger ADO12 count 1, whatever we expect next is a breakdown move in the formation of a larger ADO12 count 2. And I have its minimum target areas highlighted on the charts using this red target area, which is an area that I came up with using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 giving me a minimum retracement area between the FIB level 0 0.382 and the FIB level 0 0.618 and that is between the $98.15 mark and the $87.78 mark which is an area that we have now fully maximized and there are chances that Litecoin is now going to give us a reaction of the target area start gearing up impulsively in the start of an impulse in the formation of this wave 3 and by first giving you minimum target areas for the third wave by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave I get a minimum target area for the third wave at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $160.93 mark. And that is the minimum that we can expect Litecoin to do ahead of the Litecoin having event in the formation of that wave 3. And soon I'm expecting that Litecoin is finally going to give us a low for this wave 2. See a reaction of the target area. See a break above resistance at around the $91.35 mark possibly get a successful retest, continue gearing up, see a break above the $97.63 mark, and soon give us a break above the $103.25 mark. And the moment Litecoin is able to get above the $100 mark, there are high chances that from that point, it should be easy for us to break above other key areas of resistances and get above the $115 mark. And hopefully once that plays out, then we can continue breaking to the upper side and fully maximize our minimum target areas in the formation of that wave 3 at around the $160.35 mark. Also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported. And before I do so, remember that 
in case further breakdown continues here on the charts then litecoin needs to continue holding within this red target area because the breakout of this red target area will be suggesting further breakdown on the charts also taking a look at the indicators on the rsi we are trading at around the 34 mark also taking a look at the macd we have been able to print a bearish cross though we are seeing a bit of a decrease in the selling momentum so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i will be keeping you updated